So welcome to this module on uh, buck converters. Uh, they are used for stepping down an input voltage and uh, uh, they can be used in all kinds of applications uh, in uh, regulated switch mode power supplies as well as uh, in uh, uh, renewable energy based electric generation uh, whether we are using photovoltaics and uh, wind electric uh, uh, systems because uh, they make up the switching power pole. And so we'll look at the operate, we'll look at operation uh, in steady state of these uh, buck converters, but, but we'll just concentrate on the co constant, uh, the co uh, constant current conduction mode. Uh, not constant, I'm sorry, continuous uh, current conduction mode. We'll restrict our discussion to that. Okay. So we'll look at uh, uh, that, uh, uh, this analysis here. So as you can see here, uh, that uh, here is the, the buck converter. And uh, when the, the transistor is on, this diode is reverse biased. So we have uh, this sub-circuit. And uh, when the, the transistor is turned off, then this current free wheels through the diode, and we are looking at continuous conduction mode here. Uh, you know, there's another mode here, discontinuous conduction mode, but we'll not go into that. <clears throat> so what uh, it's showing us is that if the, uh, the switching signal is given <clears throat> with some duty ratio D, then this uh, voltage V sub A is plotted over here. It's equal to Vn when the transistor is conducting and is equal to zero when the diode is freewheeling. And its average value is uh, plotted by this dotted line here. So that average value is equal to the duty cycle, uh, duty ratio times the input voltage. And uh, since the average voltage across the inductor is zero, it's also equal to V zero here. Now the, the voltage across the inductor is the difference of VA and the output voltage VO, which we'll assume to be a constant. Uh, we'll ignore the ripple in the the capacitor voltage, and uh, so it's uh, telling us is that it's really this rectangular waveform, and since its average is zero, this area B is uh, in magnitude equal to uh, area A is in is equal to area B in magnitude here, and uh, so based on this, uh, we can plot the ripple in the inductor current. Uh, and it uh, crosses this zero axis at the midpoint here and the midpoint uh, of this uh, on interval and mid -time, midpoint of this off interval over here. Okay, so we can calculate this uh, uh, peak to peak uh, ripple in this inductor current to be, uh, if we just take the on interval to be the input minus the output divided by the inductance times the time interval over here. And uh, the, the average value of inductor current is equal to the output current, assuming that, not assuming, but uh, given that the average current through the capacitor is zero. And uh, if we can superimpose this ripple on top of this uh, average inductor current, we get the complete waveform for the inductor current here. And similarly, based on this inductor current, we can calculate the waveform for this input current here. It's flowing when the transistor is on, otherwise it's off. So from here, uh, knowing what this output current here is in this expression here, and what this output voltage here is, and assuming that there are no losses in this circuit, the input power is equal to the output power. So equating the two, we can calculate the average value uh, of this uh, input current, and uh, we can also get that from this uh, plot over here, and this will be equal to uh, you know, the duty ratio times the output current as shown here. And uh, <clears throat> uh, essentially, the ripple in the inductor current is flowing through the, the capacitor here. So that's... Uh, the analysis of a buck converter here. 
So this is modeled in PSPICE here, and we can look at uh, certain things here. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, this uh, inductor current shown in red is plotted over here. So this is IL. Uh, it has certain average value. Only the ripple in this inductor current flows through the capacitor. So this is I sub C, and in purple is the, the voltage across the inductor, which is plotted here. So in summary, uh, we can say that, uh, that these buck converters are used in uh, a variety of applications, and uh, we just looked at the operation in steady state in this uh, continuous conduction mode, but any of these conductor, uh, converters would go into discontinuous conduction mode. So if that is essential as well, uh, we can study that.